I'm Anil Kumar and here is a factor challenge for you. You need to factor something which is not factorable. Let's begin with a very simple example. It says strategy to factor x to the power of 4 plus 4. Now this is not difference of uh, cubes or something like that. Here we have sum, right? So this binomial is very difficult to factor. We will learn how to factor such binomials or even trinomials, right? Let me first explain why it is not factorable as such. I'll explain it graphically. If you try to sketch the graph of x to the power of 4 plus 4, x to the power of 4 is like a parabola but flatter here and plus 4 means translated 4 units up. So it will look something like this, right? So it will look something like this where at x equals to 0 the value will be 4. So let me write this 4 in a different thing. So this is 4 at this point. You can clearly see that there are no x-intercepts. Since there are no x-intercepts we do not have any real zeros, right? So no real zeros. And that is the reason why you are not able to factor it right with your known techniques. Now let us see how to factor such binomials and in these set of videos we'll also take trinomials but the strategy will be as we are going to discuss now. Now think about uh, x square plus 2 whole square. What is this equal to? Now, x square plus 2 whole square could be written as x to the power of 4 plus 2 times AB, that means 4x square plus 2 square, which is 4, right? So we could write x square plus 2 whole square as x to the power of 4 plus 4x square plus 4. What do we have here? We have x to the power of 4 and 4 in the given expression. What we are missing is 4x square. That gives you an idea. So what we can really do, we can write the expression as equal to x to the power of 4 plus 4 and we can add and subtract what is missing which is 4x square. So we'll add and subtract 4x square. Now we can actually rearrange. So if I rearrange it like this, x to the power of 4 plus uh, let us say 4x square plus 4 and then we have here minus 4x square then you can clearly see that the first three terms can be factored as a perfect square and we can write them as x square plus 2 whole square correct so we'll write this as x square plus 2 whole square and we already have that minus 4x square with us at this stage, we can apply difference of squares, right? I hope you remember difference of squares is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now, 4x square could be seen as 2x whole square. Do you see that? So, that will help, right? So, we'll rewrite this expression as x square plus 2 whole square minus think as 2x whole square that is difference of squares so we can now factor this as x square plus 2 plus 2x times x square plus 2 minus 2x since we are multiplying two terms they are factors of the given expression. Let me rewrite this as x square plus 2x plus 2 times x square minus 2x plus 2, right? It's good practice to write them in order of degree, right? So I hope you understand the strategy of how to factoring such expressions which are normally not factorable. We are going to apply this strategy of adding and subtracting terms to make them factorable, right? So 
we'll explore more of this in the coming videos. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. Thank you and all the best.